Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and this is going to be your daily tarot reading April 27, 2018. So this is a four card spread guys and the first card shows up <clears throat> the topic of the day and this is going to be the page of pentacles. The second card that shows up uh, what we should not do during that day or how we should not approach our situation during the day and this is going to be the queen of wands. The third card does expresses what we should do during that particular day or how we should look at our situations. This is going to be the Hermit. And the last one is in case these conditions here are kept, what awaits us in a long in a long run or how the day is going to pay off itself in a long run. And as you can see we do have the star card. So in case you are wondering what that deck is, this is at the quest tarot and uh, <clears throat> in this deck as you can see uh, you have the astrological representation of the card, you have the runic representation as well as astrological placement of what the card represents. It is, it is a, a very um, <clears throat> rich of, uh, of symbols deck. I however seldom use it. Anyway, so uh, let's go to the day itself. Now as you can see here we do have the Page of Pentacles which is a topic of the day that expresses a, a really um, big thing that we can devote ourselves into and it's a, it's a big <clears throat> It's a big thing relatively for every single one of you, uh, one of us, excuse me, because the page does expresses a step by step development, you know, and especially it is very discouraging at the start because very often when the page plays a role in our lives, we uh, don't really get the fruits of our labor straight in the start. In other words, we we do toil ourselves, you know, toward what we are after, and still we don't see results because. Because the page is a card prolonged into for the future you know the results will come further into the future and that could relate to any any single field in our lives depending what we are facing June 27 of April 2018 you know for some people it could play out let's say that you are single I'm now I'm now giving an example guys because I do like to give examples so you can get a um, a glimpse of understanding about the car, you know. So let's say that you are um, single and you are talking with a person and uh, that person gets your number and you are very happy about it because you do have an interest in that person. However, this person isn't calling you for a, for a two weeks period of time. This is what the page does represent, you know. You do make certain efforts and yet there is no results in the immediate future. However, in the long distant future, as you can see here with the star card, the results are granted for you. So, <clears throat> the page, in case of a, a personal, uh, personal aspect, you know, intimate life or personal life, if you want to say that way as well, uh, urges us guys to uh, follow our emotions in a sense because the, the, the page shows that today, at 27, we are about to experience new emotions within ourselves. Either, as I said, we are going to be enthralled by somebody or we are going to find out that a person around us is more than just a friend, etc., etc. The page urges us to follow those emotions because those emotions does worth it. And this is also uh, seen here with what we need to do, the Hermit card. And the Hermit in this particular case points that we need to take on a direction even if there is no one there to applaud, to applaud us. And especially when the Hermit comes as things we need to do, guys, we need to be prone to our intelligence, uh, to our intellect, excuse me, so we need to be very intelligent when we, uh, when we take on the decisions. As well, the, the Hierophant, uh, not the Hierophant, but the Hermit, excuse me, is a card where we need to be very true with our feelings and with our emotions because the emotions here guides us toward the goal of our life uh, superficially, you know, with that card. Uh, well, in this particular day, they are going to guide us toward a, a big deal for our lives, okay? So we are going to sense where the light is, uh, which will shine for us in the darkness if you want to say it that way so uh, <clears throat> 
Talking about career with uh, with the page here, it does look like that we're going to have a task today, a project, you know, or a responsibility we need to take on, and uh, uh, the benefits from that will not be immediately dis uh, uh, discovered for us or kind of like uncovered for us, you know, and this should not discourage us. And I want to talk about a little bit more from the negative aspect of the situation because we do have the Queen of Wands as something we should not do. And this is overconfidence here, guys. This is a, about uh, when, for example, that task is given to you today and you can say, all right, that's a piece of cake. Well, it isn't. All right, there are some hidden, uh, hidden circumstances or some hidden strings that you are not aware of, and uh, <clears throat> charging, you know, for immediate resolution to the issue, to the task, you know, or to the project will will most likely plunge you into failure here for what I can say now the Queen of, uh, of Wands also urges you not to take a leadership position I mean constrain yourself from doing it in that particular day probably because as I said the the task or the initiation in personal life etc etc you need to look at this card as something that you will have big devotion at alright but in the same time you should not um, as I said, be on a charging position or on a leadership position because it's a very early stage of development. And you may find yourself in a very uncomfortable and downsiding situation here being as a leader on a, uh, a position where you have to juggle with, uh, with less resources, let's say, than you would like to. All right. Not to mention that this card in that particular case does expresses that you need to please people you would like you would uh, usually don't want to please all right <clears throat> so it's it's very important to be humble regarding you know either the person you are after either your partner into your relationship or uh, either the task um, which regards your job and when we come about the humbleness guys we encounter here the the hermit card which is the things you need to do and as i said yeah uh, it's about intelligence <clears throat> it is about wisdom as well and it is about decisiveness to take on a direction even though there is no one else to recognize that direction or no one else there to choose you for that for taking on the decision to take on that direction however the hermit is also about a being <clears throat> being true to your feelings or uh, where your feelings are dragging you toward because uh, although your logic can give you certain answers you know uh, it all all that it matters is what the soul feels and what the soul needs and during that day it is very likely that many of us are going to recognize what our soul needs and we are going to um take on that direction to fulfill the needs of our soul because this is what the hermit is all about in the grand scheme of things finding the light that shines for us in the darkness something to look forward to something to hang on to uh, to, uh, to hang on to you know even if everything else is not going very great now this will be very favorable day especially for those which are finding themselves in a very difficult spot troubles into their career into their relationships etc etc that they are going to give them something that they will hang on to and in the long term <clears throat> We do have the star card, and the star card uh, in that particular case is nothing but a uh, end of a turmoil, and um, reaching a, a clear sky, if I may say it that way. So let's uh, let me try to describe the situation that way. Let's say that right now you are in a very dark uh, forest, in a very dark woods, and you take on a direction here, and that direction leads you to an opening, to a to a meadow of light and of sunshine so all your problems regarding that particular field of your life relationship career you name it depends on you know which uh, <clears throat> which field of your life you're going to interact with today is going to be resolved to a certain extent now you need to know that the star card is not a pure is a full resolution the star card gives you the, uh, the the outlook and the means necessary and the support necessary in order to reach full resolution but the full resolution is reached by careful planning you know and persistence as well when when it comes to the star card it is kind of like accepted that way that you will have the ego view upon the situation and you will be able to be forewarned 
<clears throat> about what is wrong and about what needs to be done should you do it should you recognize what is wrong and should you believe it now that depends entirely on you guys but my point is here overall that today you will have the circumstances which are going to give you the devotion you know to to um <clears throat> accept uh humble uh, to to be humbled about the direction you need to take without being too cocky about it all right which is going to inevitably lead to a certain opening and opportunity to reach a resolution of your difficulties. So uh, this was your tar reading for today guys, April 27, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.